information society? That's a difficult question. Hmm. Try to organise lighting. Lighting. It's lit, baby. Hello and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Talk Chasers. Welcome back to my stupid blonde floppy head of face. Um, no, I haven't bought glasses to look at Harry Potter. These are actually prescription because um, I need them. And that it's very hot in here, so I'm going to open the door quickly. I just thought I'd film this video because I'm about to tell you where I am and where I'm going to be moving jobs because I've just told you on Instagram if you follow me there at Talk Chasers. Um, I'm leaving Motec, so I've worked at Motec for a year and a half, it's been an unbelievable experience, Mike and I have become really, really close friends, and I will always treasure the memories that I've made there, and the people that I've met, and the experiences that I've had, it's just been absolutely phenomenal, but opportunities arise, things progress, um, I progressed as just a videographer, and in myself and stuff, so I got approached by a company, <clears throat> which I'm set outside currently, so I'll show you that in a sec, but I thought, just before I introduce you to the chaps I'm going to be working with, I tell you about the Mazda, little Winston. <laughs> I haven't explained to you where I actually got Winston from. I just realised I uploaded a video saying I'm modifying my Mazda MX-5, and I uploaded the old Top Gun video to Instagram. You can follow me there on Talk Traces. Uh, I never told you where I actually got it from. It was a late Monday evening. No, was it Monday? Maybe it was a Sunday. It was a late Sunday evening, 8:30 p.m. A cool breeze swept across my brow. At the time, I'd just sold my Audi. Um, so I didn't have another car to get to work and obviously I had my BMW, that's not on the road yet. Still need to film a video about that one because it's not on the road yet. Meh, 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 meh. Anyway, plenty of videos, content on the content. It's 8.30, Sunday evening, and I realised I had no way, A, to get home, or B, to get to work the next day. Uh, I'd just come back from my Petrohead tours with Joe, which was unbelievable. I haven't even had time to com like comprehend that. I still got a video, big video to make for that one. And yeah, I was like, holy crapola! I've got no way to get to work. So I'll have to get a train home because otherwise I won't get to work. I was at my girlfriend's house in Wimbledon um, and had no idea how to get to work the next day. So I was looking on eBay, so I was like, right, I'll get a train home, get on eBay. When I get home, I'll be able to go look at a car and buy it. By this time, it was half past nine in the evening and I was like, well, shit how no one's going to want me to come and see their car because I haven't still got a train home. By the time I get a train home it's going to be almost half 11, 12 o'clock and no one's going to let me see a car at 12 o'clock because I just think I'm a dodgy weirdo. I could be. <laughs> so I went on Facebook and looked within like a three kilometre radius of Wimbledon and I was scrolling past all these cars, you know, a thousand pound cars, 1500 quid cars. I didn't really know, I didn't really want to spend more than 1500 quid. Um, and Elsie, Friend, uh, pointed out to me this little MX-5. I was like, oh, I don't know. I was trying to be sensible. I was trying to stay away from the MX-5 in my head. I was like, shit, that would be cool. I'd love an MX-5. Uh, but I was trying to stay away from there because I thought she would think it would be a stupid idea. But no, she points out the little MX-5, and I was like, well, I guess it's all right. So I went and looked at it. Turns out it was three minutes around the corner, the same postcode as Elsie's in London in Wimbledon. Walked around the corner, had a look at the car, turned it on, ran sweet, showed me all the all the history. Um, literally three owners, and it's a 1999 car. So yeah, that was that. I was like, well, I, I, I guess so. So I drove home that night with the little Mazda MX-5 with my roof down the whole bloody way. That's the story of Winston. I hope you enjoy him. I'm enjoying him. I don't know how long he's going to stay for because as soon as that BM's on the road, I will want to be driving that. And this little baby is going to go up for sale. What I'm going to do now is get out of my car, walk you into where I'm going to be working, and introduce you to the guys. Well, at least one of the two of the guys I'm going to be working with. One of them's not here. Make sure you're already part of the donation. Hit the subscribe button down below. Um, I'm extremely excited to be starting this next stage of not just talk chasers but work and life. Um, I am going to be relocating, so I'm going to be moving out from my home with my mummy and grandma. Um, and yeah, getting my own place and showing you and introducing you to a whole load of new people. So, without further ado, let's bloody do this.
going to be working at Maguire's. Dale! <laughs> Dale, I've surprised them on the video. Dale? Oh gosh. Hello. Hello. Hello, new co-worker. How are you? Introduce, introduce yourself to the video. <laughs> I'm Nathan, and I run the warehouse. Oh, oh boy. I'm going to be working a lot and closely with you. <laughs> hey. Oh, sorry, not that one. Um, hi, mate. How you doing? Fellow co-worker. I'm going to keep saying I'm a co-worker. 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 I'm hyped, my friend. Yeah. I'm absolutely hyped. I can't believe that this is going to be the new palace. Packing boxes. Packing boxes. No. Well, in here is where I'm probably going to be working most. Probably going to get copyrighted for the dopest music in the world. Um, but yeah, welcome to my new job. We have two shows on this weekend. So my role in Maguire's is to make sure the sh shows run nice and smooth, which we have about 40 a year, which you'll uh, You'll, you'll be seeing a lot more of. Yeah. And uh, so we got wax stock this weekend, hence taking everything. Yeah. And we have got the drop with still static. Amazing. Uh, also, so we've got two shows this weekend. Sometimes we've got three. Uh, so it gets crazy busy. Yeah, man. So yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more show content. Obviously, I'll do. We're going to post some Instagram pictures and stuff on Instagram explaining where all the content for Maguire's is going to be. Obviously it's going to be on Instagram, but also on YouTube. So you'll see myself, Tom, Dale, uh, Nathan, all on YouTube on the Maguire's channel. So I will actually leave a link to the Maguire's channel right here so you can go and subscribe to the channel already. Uh, if you're not already following them on Instagram as well, make sure you head over and do that. Reach through the star. Is it sky or stars? I f***ed it. I've, uh, yeah, I think I've messed this. Best of seven stars. Yeah. Toy Story style. Okay. Reach through this guy. So this is all the stuff we want to take. The girls process it in the actual office that does actual work. Actual work, yeah. The girls process it. Nathan, the team pick it. Three of us will check it. Make sure everyone's numbers match. Yeah. Then we repeat that process when we get back from the show. Crazy. Yeah. So do you think you've packed more this year than previous years? or? Uh, most of the times we will pack more. Yeah. Um, especially at wax stock. Uh, wax stock's become a bit of a, you know, you got Black Friday. Yeah. Wax stock's like clean Sunday. Oh, yeah. right, okay. I like it. All the, uh, all the little mean. So the other really dope thing about Maguire's is that each year, Tom and Dale get given a certain amount of money, a budget if you like, to go and buy a car, do it up, make it look incredible and have it as a flagship car for Maguire's. So, the first car I think they ever did was the to protect and shine interceptor. So I'll quickly go over there and show you that one because that's pretty cool. That was kind of like the OG car. The first one they did, it's an old uh, cop car from America. Left hooker um, to protect and to shine on there. Stop it! So this is the first one I think they did. Stop it! Which is pretty bloody awesome. The next one they did was the Meguiar's Mirror Bright Shine Van. Um, I don't actually know what it is, but it's bloody awesome. So this is the, the next one they did. This is a really, really, really cool old Ford Econ Line Super Van. Nice, love that. So retro. Beep beep. I have to go the long way. Project Rising Sunny. So this Rising one was Sunny. to do an all-out JDM guys JDM car. You know. Yeah. I, I've I've come from a bit of a hot rod background, so I've never done a JDM car before. Oh really? Yeah. Tom okay. does. Tom's had a JDM car before, so it was nice learning, learning all about that and the scene and stuff, and yeah. getting this kit over from Japan. We wanted to do it properly, you know. Yeah. I mean, it looks unbelievable. Like. I feel it's so retro and so like, yeah. so jap. Yeah, when so I... we didn't want to go too modern with anything, so the engine, if we are going to do anything to it, it's just going to be period modifications. Yeah. Um, 
like I say, we've got classic kind of Cobra custom seats with the Yeah, the collaboration you did with Cobra on these is like so beautiful. So we were at the Cobra factory and Tom found the, this pattern and he wanted it to be nice and leery. Um, so we found a Porsche Pasha pattern. Um, but I don't like just taking something and it being as it was. No. So I asked them if they could turn it on a 40 foot, 45 degree angle. Yeah. Just so it looks a bit different and a bit crazy. Yeah. So they managed to do that. It was a bit of a headache for the person that did it, but, <laughs> but I liked it. But it looks like such an optical illusion. Yeah. It's so cool. I love it. And what, what engine is this? Just 1200. 1200cc of yeah. pure goodness. Now, if you're wondering what the rattling is, yeah. just some, some good old. That's T-Car Customs, that is. T-Car Customs. That's a lot, a lot, a lot. So it was the night before players and we didn't have a gator, so Tom did this and we kind of want to keep it because it's a bit of a symbol of how hard we've worked, everyone's worked on it. Yeah. And obviously we've got the, uh, we've got an old school Kenwood head unit. It just looks, everything about it is just wonderful, even this. And do you know what I love, the view? Is because you only can see the little netting from the pickup. I just love it. And you've got the vents in the bonnet just there. It's just so much fun. Yeah, and that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be fun. This is running airlift performance, right? Yeah, full custom airlift set. Um, so my one of my best friends, Phil, at the install company who bagged the Crown Vic, did a great work putting this on the floor. Uh, it's, it's painted in Volkswagen black. Okay. That was done by Reflex. Um, like I say, they, they both worked on the car, getting the body kit to fit, I know, which uh, took a bit of a headache, but it worked. Obviously, carbon inserts. I mean, you wouldn't want to do a long journey in it. I <laughs> kind of sat like this. This is a lovely little seat you have here. Oh, yeah, nice, okay. <laughs> right, so that is going to conclude this video because my battery is about to die. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not already part of the Top Nation, Hit the subscribe button. You can get your t-shirts from www.talkchasers.com And I shall see you in the next video. Thanks for the little drive, Dale. Thanks for the little drive. Okay, catch the next one.